briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, a significant securities case involving SS and C Technologies, Inc. was heard by the United States District Court for the District of Connecticut. The case centered on the principle that companies can be held responsible for false statements or omitted information when selling stocks to investors, giving investors the right to sue if the stocks were purchased within a certain time frame. During the legal proceedings, the lead plaintiffs sought to certify the lawsuit as a class action. The defendants, however, argued that the proposed class was too broad, as it included those who purchased shares in the aftermarket. According to the defendants, this would disqualify the plaintiffs from standing under Sections 11 and 12, 2 of the Securities Act of 1933. Despite the defendants' arguments, the court ruled that shareholders who could trace their share purchase to a registered offering had standing to sue, regardless of whether the purchase was made during the IPO or through aftermarket trading. The court also maintained that a prospectus must be delivered for all transactions in SS and C common stock by Hambrecht and Quist or Alex. Brown within 25 days of the offering date. As a result, the lead plaintiff's motion to certify the lawsuit as a class action was granted. In addition to the main class, the court certified a subclass of plaintiffs who had purchased SS and C common stock between May 31, 1996 and June 25, 1996. These plaintiffs had standing to assert Section 11 and Section 12, A2 claims. The majority of the lead plaintiffs represented the main class, while four individuals represented the subclass. Two law firms were selected to serve as counsel for both the class and subclass. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.